I think there's a bit of an unease now. So, as you say, volatility has fallen quite significantly from extremely elevated levels, of course. Uh, and I think part of that, you know, due to now getting into this situation where, look, things have been, are starting to improve on the COVID um, situation. So we're starting to see peak. It doesn't mean that there's, there's still a lot of cases obviously being uh, surfaced every day, but we, have, we are getting past the peak now. Um, but then on the same side, the data that you, you're covering um, earlier, all the economic data is extremely bad. So now people are trying to figure out what damage does that do to the structural economy? Does this lead to a debt default cycle uh, that leads, which means it's not just a short V or U shape um, recovery, but actually this is going to be a long term recession? I think if you look at the dispersion between economic forecasts, from different uh, research providers and uh, earnings forecasts. They're extremely di uh, um, diverse at the moment. And I think that just shows that, yes, we, we have seen volatility come out, but I don't think it's because people now have got increased confidence in the outlook. It's just we've sold off massively, we've rebounded, and now people are searching for direction uh, you know, in, in terms of what's going forward for the economy and for earnings for estimates. What, right. Well, what do you think? Does this lead to a debt default scenario where, of course, hearing day after day, particularly this week from the US banks, setting aside significant provisions, and this is only for the first quarter as well, before really the peak of the shutdown is going to hit the US economy? Yeah, I think part of that provision is not just because they're worried about defaults, but also because they don't know and therefore they want to provision a bit, of, a bit now and then see how things develop. So I don't think we can really read too much into that. Our sense is in the big picture, we will avoid a massive debt default cycle. But in the short term, we might get some worse news. Um, so, you know, obviously we see in the U.S. that the uh, small and medium sized uh, loan facilities that have been provided by the government through the banks, that's about 90 percent utilized already. So now we need uh, clearly we need some more funding. Um, and that seems to be less easy today than it was uh, two or three weeks ago. Uh, I think we still think it will come through. Um, but in the near term, you know, if you don't get very positive policy actions or very positive data on the reopening of economies, uh, then I think markets are probably a little bit vulnerable short term. Hey, everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.